look, I'm having a bad day. Okay, I went to go do a fucking makeup TikTok and it turned out nothing the way that I wanted to. The red eyeshadow ended up turning pink. Not what I wanted to do. Jesus Christ. Hello friends, strangers, and enemies. My name is Lightning, and if you don't know who I am, you know what, that's okay, I've accepted it. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi. So I know that normally when I sit here I do makeup, but um, uh -huh, I'm kinda tired of doing makeup for YouTube considering I'm not a beauty tuber. So today I thought I'd do something different. I would talk to you guys about what's new in my life while I draw something. Now, I don't know, depending on how well this video will do, I might do this again, so if you could just like I don't know, like the video, subscribe to my channel. I don't understand why y'all think it's so difficult. It's just two simple buttons. But today I have a blank sheet of paper that I'm going to draw something on. And I'm going to talk to you guys about what's new in my life and what's up. Okay, so as you guys may know, if you've been following my channel for a minute, oh, by the way, we're just jumping right into the video. If you guys have been following my channel for a minute, you know that I hate, hate where I live. And we actually are moving next week, this week, actually. You're seeing this Tuesday. We're moving this Friday. So there's only going to be one more video in this apartment. So, yeah, we're moving. Um, We are moving to... It's the same apartment, it's just, um, a bigger apartment, I guess. Um, we've outgrown this one bedroom, and we now need a second room. Maybe for babies. Or just some space that we desperately, desperately, desperately need. Um, I'm excited, however, what I'm not excited for is the fact that it is a lot more money than what we're paying now, and by a lot more money, I mean like $110 more. All it is, is all that we're getting is a second room, and to my understanding, I think we're just moving, like, across the street or something. Yeah, I think that's it. So I've been packing and kind of, like, going through everything. Um, if you, there's a video coming out next week where it's a life in my, uh, a day in my life is unemployed, so if you're interested, make sure you check that out. I don't really know what I'm drawing. Um, we're just kind of gonna let it happen. I used to draw all the time. I used to really like drawing. And I don't know what happened. I just kind of like fell out of love with it, I guess. Um, you know what? This will do just fine, I guess. So yeah, we are moving. Um, I am I am very excited to move. However, again, the only thing I am not excited for is the amount of money that we're paying. Just because we've been so used to paying this amount of money, it's... I know where I live. I know the area we're in, and what we're going to be paying is $845 a month. Now, we currently only pay um, $730, and to me, that's a lot for this place. Um, just because, like, there's no security. Let me, let me, let me tell you what I'm mad about. So not only has this apartment tried to take me to court four times, they've also neglected a lot of the things that I asked for maintenance to come fix. The heat never turns off. There's a hole in the balcony. People get shot here every other day. The balcony across the street collapsed. There's no playground for the kids and kids almost get hit by a car every year playing in the fucking street. Also, this is, this is what I have so far. Um, I'm hoping it looks better when I'm done. So like this apartment's not kid friendly. It's not anything friendly, really. It's actually quite shit. So if you watched my last video on, um, last week on moving out at the age of 18, you would have heard that the showroom that we were shown did not look anything like the apartment that we currently live in, and none of the apartments are like that. Now, I'm just gonna say this right now, that all of the things I am saying were under the old management. We have switched managers, and so far I like her. She's doing very, very well. I'm not gonna complain, because she's doing pretty good. I like her so far, um... Let's just say that the old manager waited a year to get us into a new apartment. She takes charge for fucking a day, and we're in a new apartment already. So, my, I already kind of like her a lot better. That's just my, my opinion. I've been ev almost evicted for literally everything under the sun. And to me, that's just absolute bullshit. So, like, for example, they tried to evict us because a smell was coming from my house. 
Don't get me wrong, I have pets. You know, the last landlord was not entirely thrilled that she tried to sue me over having a dog. Here, come to find out he's a service dog. So I think after that, she kind of like got a little, a little pissy and started taking it out on us. Now, that was bullshit and I called her out on it, gave her the paper for the dog and all was well. Um, so I called her out on that. She wasn't too happy. And when I called, I was like, hey, um, where exactly did the, the maintenance guy smell that odor? And she was like, oh, in the lobby. I was like, wait, hold on. So he didn't even smell it in the house, in my house. He smelled it in the lobby. And she goes, correct. Now, I don't normally go bitch mode very often, especially with people who let me live in their establishment. However, I was very pissed off and I was like, please do not fucking contact me ever the fuck again about matters like this because all you really fucking did was just piss me off. Like, are you fucking kidding me? That was grounds for eviction because he smelled something in the fucking lobby that you're blaming on me? Fuck off. I was not happy about it. And there wasn't anything I can do. All I had to do was I went and bought a carpet cleaner, right? To get rid of the smell that apparently was in my home. So I carpet cleaned my entire house. Within the process of doing this, I, the carpet cleaner, decided to grab a hold of their fucking $15 carpet and yank it out of the floor, causing a huge ripple of just ripping carpet out. So when I told them, because apparently they're doing an inspection before we move, which threw me off because the last time I moved and switched apartments, this is not my first time, they didn't do that. They were just like, all right, um, bye. Here's your fucking thing, move, and then that was a whole nother story of they never actually charged me the first month's rent, which then caused me to pay like a couple grand in late fees, which again, not entirely thrilled about. This is what I have so far. It's not turning out the way that I wanted it to. I should have made it bigger. I have ideas of what they could do to make this place a lot better, more family friendly. I don't think anyone is going to want to hear it, so I just kind of keep my mouth shut because... Again, no one's going to want to hear it, so why even fucking talk? And I'm sorry if this video is boring. I didn't have an idea of something quick and easy to do, and I just wanted, like, a nice little video where I can sit down and talk to you guys and chill and, you know, just vibe. Vibe. So normally when I draw, I don't, I don't particularly like to add color just because I feel like when I do it, when I do it, it makes things worse. I'm not the best artist in the world. I'm very well aware. I used to do it more as a hobby. And don't get me wrong, some of my pieces I really, really do like. It's just, I want to get better. And I know that that comes with practice. But again, I'm lazy. And I don't know. So in the process of us moving, Sad Souls actually got delayed one more time just because I have to pay for the masters for the rest of my songs. And there's not that many left. I think there's like two or three songs left that I have to actually pay for my masters for. Um, so that got delayed one more time. Okay, so that's what I have so far. I feel like I should have added like a log cabin or something. Leave in the comments not to do this again because if you do, I most likely won't do it because I'm already like, I was sitting here like, oh, this is a fun idea. Me to sit down and just talk and draw something and like make something and make use of my time. <laughs> However, um, I'm slowly regretting that choice when I see that my art looks like this. So anyway, I'm sorry. While I do this and try to save my art, I got off track. Um, I've been like going through everything and moving and it has... I have a lot of shit. One day, hopefully, we'll be able to get a house that, um, we like and we can afford. Adding the black lines, I feel, did make it just a smidge, smidge better. Um, I'm still not entirely thrilled with it. It's supposed to be an hourglass, if y'all haven't gathered that, in like a stand, I guess. I don't know. I'm not, I don't like it. I'm not happy with it. I, this idea looked a lot better in my head. And if I was a better artist, I may have been able to actually do it correctly. Yes. Um, one thing I did want to say before we end this video, and again, I am so, so, so very sorry. This thought, I, I, you know what? It seemed like a better idea in my head and I would scrap the video if I had more pre-recorded because I don't.
So about my streams and stuff, yeah, I, I do get that I have not been doing it, and I haven't really been playing with you guys. I've been kind of in like a funk. I think I'm coming out of res uh, remission for my Crohn's. I haven't been feeling all that great. It's not Rona. Um, my stomach's been really fucked up, and all I've really been doing is laying on the couch, playing The Sims, and watching movies. I, again, I've been lazy and not feeling the best. So again, if you guys have been wanting to play, and I, I, I do see that you guys are sending me game invitations and messaging me, and I, God, that... I can't express to you how nice that is and how happy that makes me that you guys want to play with me. However, with me not feeling good, it's difficult and I feel bad not want, not, not playing with you guys because I said I would and I also said I would stream, but things happen. You know what I mean? Things, things just fucking happen. All right, that's the finished product. I'm very disappointed with it and I hate it and I wish it came out a lot better. Um, yeah, I hate it. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you didn't like this video, God, let me know so I don't have to do this again. And if you do want me to do it again, leave in the comment something for me to draw so I have, like, ideas. Also, check out the Ignite podcast. First episode's going up last Friday. Last Friday. So here's the thing. Me and Megan sat down. Re re we pre-recorded two episodes. The first episode got corrupted. So I just sat down and I told you guys like what you missed in the episode and I will upload the second episode this upcoming Friday. So make sure you check that out. Ignite is available on all streaming platforms except for Audible. I'm working on it. Make sure you check out my books, Lightning, Lightning 2, and Savior. Links are linked down below under the Wattpad link. Make sure you check out my website if you are interested in pre-ordering your own copy of me. Comes in hardcover only. There is a wait time, only seven orders left until publication. Um, I'm very proud of this. I'm 23 years old and I never thought I was, I was always written throughout my high school. Like I always wrote stories and books and it feels so good to hold my book in my hand. Y'all have no idea. So thank you guys so much for the support of this book. I know it came out like two years ago, but thank you. Thank you so much. And if you want your own copy, they do retail for $25. I will leave the link down below for my website. Just go to the order tab. But anyway, guys, that's it. And if you like this, and if you liked me drawing and talking to you guys about moving, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Why not? What else are you going to do? And you guys, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I'm so excited to move and I'm actually really excited to show you guys like my new office because guess what? I have an office. My background for filming is going to change and I'm, I'm kind of sad because I kind of like it, but there's not going to be a massive TV in my way anymore. We're actually going to have like decorations of video game stuff and drawings and paintings and just awesome stuff. So I'm very excited for that. Make sure you check out my channel for updates on moving. I'm debating if I want to make like a moving video. I might actually. It sounds like fun. Hey anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you next time.